Hello, I'm Dave Caldwell with your SCV News Break for Wednesday, February 12th. A Valencia man is behind bars in Missouri, charged with multiple counts of statutory sodomy. 26-year-old youth pastor Brandon Milburn was arrested Thursday in St. Louis after two alleged victims, both 11 years old at the time the crimes occurred, came forward and sparked an investigation. Police say Milburn has confessed to the crimes. He's been charged with six counts of statutory sodomy in the first degree and is currently being held on a $100,000 cash-only bond. Prior to moving east, Milburn worked as a producer at Real Life Church in Valencia. Church officials say he did not work with children during the four months he was employed at Real Life. There are no investigations taking place here at home at this time. Ending months of uncertainty, Saugus Union School District officials were given the green light by the Attorney General's office to proceed with filing legal action against board member Stephen Winkler. With a 4-1 to one vote last June, officials voted to vacate his seat after determining he did not live within district boundaries. School district officials were then told by Los Angeles County that they had to initiate quo warranto proceedings against Winkler, which is a legal process for removing an elected official. Saugus Union officials waited until November to ask for permission to proceed, which they finally received Tuesday. Now district officials must present their case to a judge who will decide on the legitimacy of the district's claims against Winkler. Winkler says he has evidence he did not maintain a residence outside of the district. The chloride fight isn't over yet. The Santa Clarita Valley Sanitation District Board has voted to challenge the state's recent ruling on chloride compliance. The appeal is currently pending, but local officials say because the chloride level is state mandated, the cost of water treatment to comply with that mandate should be funded by the state, not local ratepayers. The state body that makes such determinations denied a claim by sanitation district officials last month. As it stands now, ratepayers are expected to foot a $130 million bill to pay for the cost of removing salt from Santa Clarita's wastewater, which is sent downstream to Ventura. In boys Twitter League basketball, the Hart Indians entered the final week of the regular season assured at least of a tie for their first Footy League championship since 2007. On Tuesday, in front of a capacity crowd, the Indians hosted the Valencia Vikings, a team who was still in the hunt to share that title. The Vikings had a 45-40 lead at halftime, but Hart outscored Valencia 41-25 in the second half to defeat the Vikings 81-70 and win the outright Foothill League Championship. Junior guard Miles Franklin led the Indians with 22 points. After the game, Franklin and senior Lewis Stallworth got their priorities straight when asked about the win. Next game. Next game. We're going to celebrate right now. We're going to yeah, wake right up now, tomorrow we're gonna and we're going to go to work yep. and get ready for Thursday when we play Canyon. 10 and 0. We want to finish 10 and 0. 10 0. SCV TV's Game of the Week will take us to Canyon as the Indians look to become the first team in 20 years to go undefeated in the Foothill League. The telecast begins Friday night with the girls game at 8, followed by the boys game at 10, exclusively on SCV TV and SCVTV.com. The City of Santa Clarita is offering a seven-week training course to help prepare you for the next big disaster. The City's Community Emergency Response Training Program known as CERT for short, aims to better prepare residents for all types of hazards. Training topics include triage, search and rescue, and fire. A seven-week CERT course begins on April 3rd at the Santa Clarita Sports Complex and is taught by professionals from the Los Angeles County Fire Department. Registration is $30 for adults. Turning to weather, warm in Santa Clarita Wednesday when the highs topped out at 85 degrees. Spring-like weather will continue for the next few days. Sunny skies and highs in the mid to upper 80s are expected Thursday and Friday. We'll see a slight dip in temperatures over the weekend with mostly sunny skies on both Saturday and Sunday. That's all for now. For more Santa Clarita news, log on to hometownstation.com or scvnews.com. Thank you for watching. I'm Dave Caldwell.